So this is a, a, a mains voltage uh, synchronous motor. And instead of me doing this to lift up the float here, I would have a similar motor, maybe not this one, um, turning a wheel. So if you can see this motor, it's turning really slowly. And so there is there is another one of these. Uh, I couldn't buy it on time to make this video. That's uh, 10 times slower. And then you would set up the motor with um, gears and wheels to get the right speed to slowly pull this up. And this is four watts going really, really slowly. So it should be able to do the task fairly easily. Okay, so we have air going uh, from my um, little air pump and the air is going through this and out uh, to my um, solar panel that is on equatorial mount. So equatorial mount uh, means that um, the axis that it rotates on is pointing at the north star and it means that it's the axis it rotates on is on, in line with the earth's axis and uh, the, um, the bearings here are just um, hand dolly bearings so there's one there one there um, I was going to put one up here and have have the thing shorter but uh, it's just easier to do this for a demonstration so uh, so it's on equatorial mount so what does that mean so that means that this um, in summer would be flipped at more of an angle you see it's at a little bit of an angle to the frame and that's because it's coming up close to um, um, the middle the equinox and it's um, it's it's called um, um, the de uh, declination angle and currently it's around seven degrees so hopefully this is close to seven degrees and I've changed things around I was using these for the proof of concept but um, um, and uh, this float in one of them but the float is too light to move this thing and this thing always the issue with equatorial mount is it's like a wheel and you have to balance it and if you don't balance it um, properly um, uh, it takes more weight to move it so it's not perfectly balanced here now you might see that it's moving slightly because i have the um, i have the air coming to it so what's happening is We've got this amount of air pressure here, and that's pushing water out of this into this. So these are the only containers I have. Ideally, this should have been higher, but um, this is what I had. And what's happening is this, you can call this a weight or a float or boat, is um, being pulled up by the falling um, um, container of water here so you can probably you might be able to see the movement the movements for oh there you go the movement is very tiny and it doesn't need to go fast uh, I could have it moving much faster I just have to put more of my air towards it but the movements tiny and the reason it, it can be tiny is because these things don't need to turn quickly because they're following the sun so it doesn't take a lot of energy to turn a solar panel anyway um, slowly moving up the solar panel is very very slowly moving I don't know if we'll be able to see it's holding it here I'm not sure if you can, you know, if you look at something in the distance, you might be able to see that there's movement going on. Um, 
but it's it's moving along and uh, it's like watching a clock <laughs> but um, the water is slowly coming up in here and um, that's slowly going down and it's spinning on its axis and the advantage of this is you only have to say manually change the declination ac um, axis once a week or once every two weeks so you would you would change this angle see I have these just holding it in place you would um, in high summer you would tilt it more this way and in winter you would tilt, tilt it down um, this way uh, by up to 20 three and a half degrees uh, yeah so it's 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 turning slowly and this will come up the water will come up to this high and it will be turned fully to the west by now.